Since the first episode of Halo Season 2, Sanctuary, one of the main mysteries has been how the mother is related to Quan Ha. The conclusion of Halo Season 2 adds a few more pieces to the always changing jigsaw of Quan's fate, even though it doesn't completely explain the lore. In the second episode of the show, Quan, an insurrectionist originally from the outer colony planet of Madrigal, primarily stays with Sauron's family. In Sanctuary, she informs Kessler, Sauron's son, about an all-consuming creature known as the Flood. Haunted by her visions of the threat in waiting, Quan comes face to face with an element of her destiny in Episode 5, Illyria. While at the funeral pyre for those who died in Halo Season 2, Episode 4's Invasion of Reach, Quan has visions of the mother for the first time. The characters have never met in the physical world, but the shaman-like figure does run into Master Chief during the evacuation of Sanctuary. The mother insists on staying put, even though the Covenant are about to glass the planet, reiterating her fantastical aura. When Quan arrives Arnonix with Sauron, Lara, Dr. Halsey, and Master Chief, she almost immediately begins having visions of the mother again. Quan follows the apparition of the mother into the woods, where she stumbles upon a well-like structure. After tumbling into the underground complex, Quan meets up with Halsey, who reveals Onyx's secret forerunner connection, and that she used to work in the below-ground installation. When Halsey claims that the tunnels are different than she remembers, Quan guides them to the inner sanctum by following the mother, cementing her forerunner link. Quan seems doomed to become part of the parasitic entity's terrifying hive mind when Quan leans into her visions to solve a forerunner puzzle, Halsey and Miranda Keys are thrilled. However, Quan is weary of the forerunner scientist and her device that the trio find in the hidden lab. Clearly, Quan can sense the threat of the flood, even if she can't yet name it. In the Halo Season 2 finale, Quan and Sauron infiltrate the UNSC Oni base to rescue Lara and Kessler. Surrounded by the flood-infected personnel, Quan seems doomed to become part of the parasitic entity's terrifying hive mind until the mother steps in. The mother calls Quan a protector, as the flood-possessed personnel close in on Quan, the mother reaches out telepathically and seemingly freezes the Flood's victims in their tracks. A shocked Quan sees visions of both the Mother and the cave art from Episode 1, which depicts the Flood consuming the galaxy. I knew you'd find me, the Mother says. We knew you would deliver us. The being goes on to tell Quan, I am you, and calls her a protector. The Mother was Quan, though it was very long ago, and goes on to tell Quan that all her other ancestors are within. The mother goes on to say that she can't hold the flood off for long, prompting Quan to flee. However, she does provide Quan with some valuable insight. The mother tells Quan that the flood desire submission to cohere everything to them. In essence, the arrival of the flood marks the end for everyone else. Given what the Halo Ring actually does, it's a galaxy sterilizing superweapon that's meant to starve the flood by destroying all sentient life. The mother's comments about the end of everything are haunting. In some ways, Quan's interaction with the mother in the Halo Season 2 finale sparks more questions than answers. The previous episode revealed that Dr. Halsey discovered DNA, theirs and ours, on the forerunner linked planet of Onyx, which prompted her to search the galaxy for subjects with the same genetics. Seemingly, these subjects became members of her Spartan 2 program which teases that Master Chief and the Spartans are Halo's Reclaimers. In the core canon, the term Reclaimer is used by Forerunner constructs to refer to humanity the species that received the Forerunner's mantle of responsibility. Essentially, humans are able to use Forerunner technology, such as the Halo Array, since the Forerunners assigned humanity the responsibility of caring for all life in the galaxy. Since the blessed ones on this show have the ability to activate Forerunner tech, the term is clearly a play on Reclaimer. The core canon is where the name Protector first appeared. These are Forerunner devices designed to combat the Flood. Quan might be the Protector notion twisted by the Silver Timeline, alternatively, Protector might mean Reclaimer and Blessed One. In any case, the Mother is probably a Forerunner who thinks Quan will have to make the difficult decisions in Halo 3.